it's the conservation of energy rules every game, no matter what form of energy is involved, and no matter what the masses of the bodies are. But in this game, there's only kinetic energy, and all bodies have the same mass. What happens when they collide? Momentum, P, is a vector quantity that's the product of the mass of an object times its velocity. In other words, the velocity is equal to the momentum divided by the mass. Kinetic energy, K, is one-half mass times velocity squared. Therefore, kinetic energy is P squared over 2M. All of this reveals one of the great secrets, not only of nature, but of how to play winning billiards. When one ball with momentum, P0, strikes another which is at rest, there are only two possible results. After the interaction, each ball has some momentum, P1 and P2. According to the law of conservation of momentum, P0, the initial momentum, is equal to the final momentum, P1 plus P2. This is a vector equation. The three vectors form a triangle, and in this case, a very special triangle. Remember, in the collision between billiard balls, the only form of energy involved is kinetic energy, ignoring a tiny bit of heat generated by the collision. Not only is momentum conserved, but also kinetic energy is conserved. Since the masses are the same, P0 squared equals P1 squared plus P2 squared. But that's the Pythagorean theorem for right triangles. And as a result, P1 is perpendicular to P2. In other words, when one billiard ball strikes another, which is at rest, they come off at right angles. That's one possible result. 